one of my most proudest moments was probably being able to document and interview one of the most underrated songwriters of the 50s and 60s, Francis Turpentine. You see, Francis Turpentine was a, once again, songwriter from the 50s and 60s, and he was very prolific. You might not know him because he never really went on stage or recorded his own albums, but if you look on the back of any album from the 50s, you are bound to find his name. And let me tell you, it wasn't just the contemporary pop music of the time. He did a lot of different stuff. He did some country, he did some gospel, he did a few opera songs, you know, he did some commercials, he did TV jingles, he did radio jingles. He did a lot of stuff and, you know, not a lot of people know about him, so I decided it would be a great idea to interview him. It would be a great idea to interview him. A great idea. <laughs> you know, I, I I guess I started writing songs when I was in my 20s, you know, and I was getting paid for it. But ever since I was a little boy, you know, I, I've been I've been coming up with songs off my head and I've been singing them all over the place. I just be singing them all over. I'd be singing them in the bathtub, I'd be singing them in the bed. I'd be singing them on the way to school. I'd be singing them back from school. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, heck, sometimes I'd even be singing in school. And my teacher would get so angry. She'd get so angry. She'd be like, Francis, Francis, Francis. What are you doing singing all willy-nilly while we're in school? And I'd be like, lady, I, I just like singing. I just like singing. I can't help it. I want to let the world know what my songs are about, you know? I felt like I, I couldn't communicate in any other way other than singing and, and telling them everything through a song. At this point, I tried to get more into the details of his work, and I also asked him like a little bit of a question. Who do you think in modern music has any sort of sound like yours? That was a mistake. Let me just stop you right there, because I just got to say this right now. There ain't really anything, you know, like I did or like anybody did back in the day that sounds anywhere near as good as what's coming out right now. Like, I, I, I'm just saying, I'm just not trying to be mean, alright? Like, some of these people have talent, yeah. Some of these people know how to do a show, yeah. Some of these people know how to write, yeah. But, you know, these people write so mean. They just write some mean stuff. They just write some very bad things, you know? And it's like, I always try to think, you know, what if what if my mother was reading my stuff? You know what I mean? What if my mother was reading my stuff? My mother wouldn't have approved of half of the stuff in your songs. Hey, my mother would nearly die if, if she heard, like, even a quarter of what you guys were writing. I mean, do you guys even have mothers also? Because I don't think your mother would approve of you writing this stuff. I mean, let me tell you something, son. The, the music out today, it is so mean. It is so wrong. It is so messed up. I mean, you have people talking about killing people, doing dope, you know, mis mis mistreating their woman. Like, I, I can't understand it. Like, you know... Like, I guess it is a pretty different time, but, you know, I had hard times, too. I had hard times, too. Sometimes my car didn't work right, you know. Sometimes the paper boy would be late. Sometimes, you know, the laundry cleaner didn't clean it right, you know. My my son would still be kind of crinkly, and, and, you know. But I always try to be wholesome. I always try to give people a good song that uplifts everybody, you know what I mean? Like, here's something I, I bet none of these uh, new artists have today, all right? Every single time a, a mother comes up to me in a grocery store, she says, Oh, I listen to your songs with my husband and my children, and we just have a good time. We're always smiling. We're always having a good time. I, I thank you for writing them songs because you just, you just really put a smile on my face. You put a smile on everybody's face, you know? And, and that's, that's the thing they don't have. They don't have the wholesome. They, they don't sell to everybody. I sell to the moms, the dads, the kids, the grandparents, the aunts, the uncles. I sell to everybody. And, you know, they, they, don't, they only sell to, like, one, 
one degenerate, and I don't get it. I really don't. I, I, I just don't understand this new world and all this other stuff, but it wasn't what it was like back in the day. Back in the day, we had standards. We have art, we had culture, and I don't understand half of the stuff they're talking about. Like, like they blaspheme against God so many times. Oh, heavens to Betsy, I can't even, I can't even begin to talk about that stuff. I just, God bless them because I can, I cannot. You know, the thing about it is, is I, I don't really want to write any music unless I'm getting paid for it. You know, if you're good at something, you get paid for it, right? And uh, I can't even perform to myself. I have to find somebody else, and I don't know anybody else around right now that would be into the music I'm trying to make, you know? Like, there's probably a few people that, like, you know, understand what music was all about back in the day, but... You know, I, I don't think anybody would pay that much for them, you know? And I can't I can't go up on stage. Oh, Lord, I, I can't go up on stage, you know? I don't think I, I'd pass out. I'd pass out like like, like I had the Holy Ghost in me. I mean, I don't know what, what to do about that stuff. Like, I, I really don't. Like, I can't be like Carol King and go up there and play my piano or whatnot. But, you know, sometimes... Sometimes songs do come to me, and it's amazing. It's incredible. But, you know, sometimes I, I be dreaming, and I come up with a new song, and it, it's so amazing and wonderful. And, and, I, just, and I just feel amazing the, the entire day after I find that song. Like, well, one time I, I had dreamed about this really happy song, and it made me feel so happy. And it and went something like, hey, all you people, why don't you get a smile? Why don't you get a clue? You need to be happy for the eyes of the Lord. Lord made this world for you. Lord made this world for you. Lord made this world for you, for you, for you, and me. For you, for you, and me. For you, 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 and me. And, and, you know, I just be smiling all day because, gosh darn it, that's a happy song. That is a happy song. You know, I was actually kind of surprised at this moment to just hear Francis Turpentine play in, in his own way, to play a new song for me and, you know, the, the video, right, the doc. That was interesting. That was really flattering. Then he did it again. You know, sometimes I ain't always sunshine and rainbows with me. You know, sometimes I, I feel a little sad. And I have sad dreams. And one time I had the sad dream. And then an orchestra started playing. Like like an like a crazy orchestra. Like they were doing everything. Like it was like Beethoven and Mozart. Like had a had a joint orchestra. And it was it was amazing. And then I don't know what I hear this beautiful voice and it starts singing. And when a little something like, oh, I'm so sad, I'm so sad, I can't believe how sad I am. I think I might be the most saddest person in the entire world. But then, but then, I look out my window and I see the people, the people on the streets. And I realize that I'm not the saddest person in the world. I'm with the people. I'm with the people. And they are sad with me. And I am sad for them. And they are sad for me. And now I know one day I can feel happy. You know, it just made me feel better. It just made me feel better because it was so beautiful. It was so wonderful. And I, I just don't know how to explain it. It just, just made me feel so good. It just made me feel so amazing. He did this for 50 minutes. But then, you know, sometimes my dreams get kind of ridiculous and make it kind of silly and funny all of a sudden. And I come up with the funniest song in the entire world. 
And like, I, I'm just like, man, if Weird Al Yankovic heard this song, he'd probably have to retire because this is so funny. And I, and it's just like, I have diarrhea. Dun, 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 dun. I have diarrhea. Dun, 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 dun. I'm pooping everywhere. I'm pooping everywhere. I have diarrhea. Dun, dun. Do, 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 do. And, and I will just wake up laughing and laughing like, oh my God, like they ain't going to play a song like that on the radio. And I'm just, I'm just laughing and laughing. And, and I can't believe that I would even come up with something so ridiculous. And, and I had to, and I had to stop myself like, oh, Francis, Francis, you, you're really acting up right now. You're just really acting up. 50 minutes.